up, Shane Squad? How are you today? Hope you are having an awesome, amazing day. Well, I did not record yesterday because it was raining all day outside. And like I explained, my family doesn't really like to be on film. But today is the next day. I'm actually going to be going home today. Well, we already got up at 7 o'clock and left and did some things. I didn't pick up my camera. Where I was with them, I couldn't really record anything. The sun is shining and it's not supposed to rain today. So I decided to pick up the camera and try to record a little bit of what I can. What are you all fussing about? Huh? What are you fussing about? So this is Tweety. The yellow bird is Tweety. And this is Belle, the little blue one. Say hi. I hear the chickens up front. Oh, there's Tiny. This is the one that keeps wanting to flog me. He knows I'm standing here. What are you doing? Oh, he just, I stepped right outside. What? No. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I just stepped one foot out. I'm gonna try to get my mom. Hi, Kara. What are you doing? I got it on film, but every time I stepped my foot out, he'd come out. But now he's not doing it because he's all the way over there. Look, I'm outside. Yo, are you not gonna do it now? Go right there. Oh. <laughs> if he comes on the porch, I'll show you what he was doing. <laughs> no, no. Ah, stop. <laughs> okay, now he's on the porch. Let's see if he'll do it. Try to get you right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, Alpha. <laughs> he's just waiting for me to step outside. Cara? Yeah, you're such a pretty kitty. Yeah. Yeah. Look at those blue eyes. Yeah, Cara. You're so pretty. Perry. I want Perry. How are you today, Perry? Mm -hmm. There's a turtle that was in the chickens. Trying to get through the fence. Here. There you go. Because he was over here and he was trying to get through the fence, but he couldn't because the holes are so small in the fence. So I took him over here so he can get outside of the fence. He knows where he's going. They're trying to fix up the chicken coop. Animals keep getting inside. That's the reason why there's not many of that chickens now. You're probably noticing that I actually took my septum piercing out. It was actually starting to bother me. And like, I'm always constantly had to wipe my nose and it's always draining. Just always in the way. So I decided to just take it out, but I still have the snake bites. Why, Kara? Huh? What is it, Kara? Yeah. You're so pretty. Yes, you are. You're so pretty, Kara. I'm wearing pants right now, and I want to end up changing into shorts because it's too hot right now to be wearing some pants. What are y'all doing? What, Tweety? Huh? What is it, Tweety? You pretty bird. Yeah, you're a pretty bird. Yeah, you're a pretty bird. Yeah, you're a pretty bird, sweetie. Yes, you are. Uh, what? <laughs> really? Yeah, you're a pretty bird. <laughs> yeah, you're a pretty bird. Hi, Belle. You're a pretty bird, too, Belle. Yeah, you're pretty, too, Belle. 
Once again, with my nose, I really like the piercing, but my nose is always draining all the time. Like, every morning I wake up, I always have to wipe my nose, always stuffy, and I get forget that I have a piercing. I got this, like, little knot where the piercing was, and it was right behind the bar, and it was just, it keeps getting bigger and bigger, so I decided to just take it out and let it heal or something to see what the issue is. This is my first time ever having a septum piercing, so... It keeps getting like a sore right beside of it. Okay, I'm gonna change into some shorts. Do you guys want to see something cool? This is my sister's, and it's an actual sword. Like, look at it. It is so cool. So what? <laughs> I sleep on the couch right here, and this sword is like sitting right beside the couch. So imagine if somebody just breaks in, pick up sword. And what? <laughs> just stab them. I don't think I would actually stab them. I probably would knock them in the head with it. I don't know if this would be allowed on YouTube or not, but my stepdad, he keeps a gun right here. Look at this. It, it's huge. Let me see if I can sit you guys up and try to pull it out. I'll show you. Look at this. It is huge. It's really heavy. Don't play with guns, kids. That's another thing. Don't play with real swords, either. So last night, there was a little kitten that actually showed up at my mom's house randomly. I will show you. He's just a little tiny kitten, but my sister's boyfriend's gonna end up taking him. He's so cute. His eyes are so big. I have to put you outside because you'll get after the birds. I am gonna go for a little walk. I'm actually thinking about going down the hill down this way. I can't really go far because I don't know if the people that lives all the way down there still have their big dogs running around. They're going to go lay down for a bit, so probably by the time my sister gets home, we should be getting ready to head to take me home. You can't follow me, though. So. Oh gosh, now I have to get past the chickens so they don't vlog me. Okay, the cat's not following me and I got past the chickens. Hopefully the chickens don't follow me. I just got done eating some, they're like little hamburgers, White Castle hamburgers, and they're actually so good. You, I can actually eat them, because I still can't eat hamburger right now. But those I can actually eat, which makes no sense. They're just little tiny sandwiches that I stick in the microwave. Oh no, the, I think that kitten's gonna end up following me because she's coming right down the road. You can't follow me. You can't follow me. You're fine. You're going to go to a home in a few. Come on. I'm probably going to have to sneak around the house so she doesn't see me leave. Come on. Come on. Okay, come on. Go to the porch. Come on. Come on. Go to the porch. Okay, now stay. I'm going to try to walk around the, ca around the couch. I'm going to walk around here. Walk around. She be confused. Okay. She's coming this way. So maybe if I go around. See, she's just keeps wanting to follow me. Okay. Let's keep going. I'll go around it one more time. So that way she can't some. She's seen me. Okay. Run, 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 run away from the kitten. Run away from the kitten. Okay, good. She didn't see me. Just hopefully the chickens don't see me going down this hill and then they try to follow. Why is there always gonna be animals trying to follow me? Hopefully I don't have nothing in my teeth. I hear her meowing. I hear her meowing. I'm trying not to talk too loud so she don't hear me. So I haven't been down this way for a long time, so I have no idea what's going to be down here. But I guess we will find out. I know I went here down this way a long time ago in a really, really old vlog. It's just going down into a holler. It just keeps going on and on and on. It eventually leads out to somewhere. 
I haven't been down this way so long that I have no idea what's all changed. I still don't see her, so. You can hear the chickens. I hear Perry. My sister, Kaylee, she ended up trying to ride her bike down this hill and she ended up crashing it and getting, scraping up her knee. It's going downhill with rocks. And just to give you guys a, a heads up, do not ride your bike down a hill with tons of rocks. That's the worst thing to do because the rocks, one little rock, if you hit it the wrong way, your bike is just gonna go throw you off the road. I've done it once when I was growing up and now my sister did it. it seems like she would have had a little bit more common sense to ride a bike down a hill with big old giant rocks, but <laughs> she is my sister. Because I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, so... <sighs> so far I haven't seen in really anything interesting besides just trees. That's like literally all there is is just trees. So many trees knocked down from last winter when that ice storm came through. That ice storm knocked so many trees down. Oh, there's a creek. I forgot there's a creek down this way. See, now I'm all on flat land. Got off the big hill. I know this holler goes pretty far out and it leads out most where I used to live when I was growing up, up on top of a hill in Ona. I can't walk that far because there's a house that lives all the way almost at the end of the road and they always have big dogs running around and I don't know if they still had those dogs because it has been a good while. But I'm going to try to walk as far as I can and just go on this little adventure with me. We want to enjoy all this nature. Hopefully we don't get attacked by any wild animals. Because <laughs> I have no protection on me. I didn't bring my, my pocket knife that I've been trying to carry around on me. I just didn't think about it. If you're wondering what's on my arm, it's a watch. It's a little bit loose. I want to see if I could somehow figure out a way that if I could take these little things. I know there's a way. Because I've seen other people do it. But you take these little things apart and you can snap them back together and make it shorter. I just got to figure out how you could do it. My wrist is so small. See, this is where everybody normally comes down and turns around. Look at all this stuff. There's so much trash. You can tell this is where people hang out. Oh. It looks like a big old four-wheeler trail or a place that you can take your side-by-side -side up the hill. So much trash, though. Look, there's some boxers. Somebody took their underwear off down here. Oh, it looks like there's a pair of sweatpants. So, found their pants. Their underwear's over there. Now, where's their shirt? <laughs> oh, is that it? Is that their shirt? No, that kind of looks like a sheet. Oh, a sheet and some clothes. I think we know what they were doing. They were getting it on in the woods. <laughs> See, this is the farthest I walked to the last time when I vlogged down here. I didn't really ever go farther out, so I'm actually going to just walk a little bit farther just for you guys. Oh, is this the shirt or is that a bag? Oh, that's a bag. I thought that was going to be the shirt. One thing that if you ever go walking in the woods, there's one rule you, you need to pay attention closely to. If you're walking in the woods and you hear birds singing or hear these, you know, bugs, you're okay. There's nothing dangerous around. Now, if you go out walking and you hear no birds singing at all, uh, it must have been a leaf just falling off the trees. I'm just like, whoa, what was that? If you hear, don't hear any birds or any bugs at all, I would honestly not go walking because obviously there's something around and none of the birds want to sing because there's danger around. Just to give you guys some hints, if you ever go exploring out in the woods or anything, just keep your ears listening and always bring someone with you, even though I don't really have anyone with me. This is my invisible best friend, you know, just right here, my invisible friend. We're going to name him, what can my invisible friend name be? We'll name him Bob. So this is Bob, my invisible friend. Bob is always with me. You know, Bob is such a common name, 
So what do you think I should call my invisible friend? Comment down below. What would you name an invisible friend? Just not Bob, because Bob is so common. That was just the first name that came to my head. Let's see what your all's options are. What would you call your invisible best friend? Oh, those are rocks. I thought that was more like big old stuffed bags. Look how my trees are knocked down right here. Also, it's actually really healthy to take a nature walk. And if you made it this far into my vlog, thank you for coming on this adventure with me. I don't even know how many people actually watch my videos anymore. I don't know if people just click on my video, watch it a little bit, and then leave because it gets boring. So if you are mating, if you are mating, if you made it to this part right here, comment down below saying made it. Just say made it. I will know what you're talking about. And the first person who comments made it, I will, what is it, what am I trying to say, pin your comment in the comments. See, there's not really much to look down here besides trees, but it's still nice to just look at trees. I'll probably just go to this curve right here and then turn back around. This is mostly what it looks like throughout the whole holler. Like, I haven't even seen any cool rocks at all. Well, the creek is now on this side now. Oh, cool, look at that rock. So many trees, more trees that's knocked down. I thought those were butterflies and their leaves falling to the ground. Just look how cool those rocks are. I just want to sit on the top of that and dangle my legs. It just looks so cool. Whoa, that's roots of trees. Wonder where the tree is that fell. Cause that's a bunch of roots from a tree. Oh, it looks like they cut them down. What? Just a random tree. Look at this tree limb on the very tip of it. There's just a little tiny bush growing. Like I said, it's just, this holler just keeps on going. I guess I'm just gonna turn back around and just head back. I wanted to do this to help pass the time, and who knows, I might find something else on up the road, or... Plus, I just want to enjoy this weather, because it's been raining for the past week, non-stop, and this is the first day that it's not raining. I'm going to take advantage of this weather. I'm going to try to take a picture of this. If you look at this, just this part, it kind of reminds me of, like, the rainforest, sort of. I don't know. If you guys would like to see my photography that I take, I do have an Instagram. I actually have two Instagrams. I have a photography account and then I have a main account which I just upload pictures of me. It's all down below in the description. Here comes the fun part. Walking up this giant hill. I hear you bugs. I hear them. I see them flying around. But it's just, they won't land like somewhere near here. Even looking on the trees to see if there's any one of them. I just want to see one. Or catch one. I just wanted to make the noise. Okay now knees, be prepared to walk up this hill. So come on, do your work, do your work, and work for me. I found this really cool rock. It kind of looks like a crystal, but I don't think it is. It even has this like orange, don't mind my fingernails. I hate that my fingernails are dirty. I hate dirty fingernails. It's so gross. It looks so cool. I'm gonna take it and clean it up. That's the first cool rock I've seen. Well, I'm definitely getting my workout for the day. Getting some cardio. I just found another one of those rocks, but it's a lot bigger. See, they look like this. Like, they're... I don't think they're crystals. They're just some type of rock. He sees me. And here he comes. Bet you he's gonna try to get me. What are you doing? Huh? I see you trying to act like you're doing nothing. Ah, I see you. I see you.
What? What are you doing? Oh, really? Okay. I guess. I guess so. It's funny, you just goes rah, 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 and it runs. Hi, Tiny. What are you all doing? Huh? Look how tiny. What are you doing? What, Tiny? What are you doing? Hi, Alpha. What? I hear a squirrel getting mad, but I don't see him. Why is it making them all blurry for?